sympathy I don't mind Cause you mean that much to me Ain't you proud of me? things this week? Well, uh, I'm fine myself. And um, are you ready for another load of rubbish? I hope so, because I've got a lot of rubbish to give you. And this week, uh, I'm going to talk about just what you've been wondering for quite a while, and that is, what's it like uh, living in the bottom of the ocean? Well, I can tell you, for a start, uh, living on the bottom of the ocean, it's uh, unbelievably wet. There's water everywhere, yes. Uh, water, and when I say everywhere, I mean I mean everywhere. I don't mean a little here, a little there, a little bit drizzling here, a little bit dry here. No, not like that. It's in your ears, in your eyes, under the rock, on top of the rock, next to the rock, and next to that rock, and it's there, there, and there. It's everywhere. You can't get away from the stuff. So if you're one of those people that uh, when you go to the swimming pool, you're a little bit, oh, I'm not too sure, um, and you sit there cross-legged and watch everyone else, do the lamps and you think, oh, I don't know, I'll put my foot in, I don't know. Uh, don't go and live in the bottom of the ocean because uh, there's water everywhere there. And um, it's also not just water, of course, if you don't like salt. Some people like salt. A little bit, you know, I like a little bit of salt. Uh, I don't really have salt and pepper on, on my meal. I don't uh, have that, but in most food today we do have salt. Now, but some people like salt a lot more than others, don't they? Some people just love it mm, on their chips and everything. Now, if you're one of those sort of people that you put a lot of salt on your fish and chips, you know, really just them, maybe it's your thing. But for me personally, I'm not a big fan of salt, so uh, I wouldn't move down there because I'm telling you now, there's not just water everywhere, but someone's tipped a heck of a lot of salt in the water, and there's salt everywhere. Right. You just can't get away from the salty water. And, um, yeah, so you'd be just spitting it out all day if you didn't like salty water. Well, it would seem that the further you go down in the uh, ocean, the uh, freakier the fish get, and the eels and everything. And uh, it ends up a little bit like a, a really bizarre, surreal dream of, um, I don't know, like you're in a sort of foreign country and you, you get lost in the red light district and um, I don't know, it's like things from Star Wars there. That's a little bit what it might be like. Um, and that the fish, the further you go down, the freakier the fish get. Now why is that? I don't know. I think God, well, when he was creating the heavens and earth, perhaps thought, I'm going to play a trick on deep sea divers and the further they dive down, the freakier the fish are going to be, so they're going to be like totally freaked out. I don't know, but um, you've got some really weird fish down there. Ugly things too. They're just going to come out, come out of the darkness and just go like that, you know. And like, I don't know, like a a barber shop owned by a madman or something. Neon lights and lights flashing all over them. I mean, it would freak you out. So it's not for the faint-hearted. You have to like a really bad horror show to live down there. Yeah, there's all sorts. There's clownfish even. Clownfish, you know, they swim around with their massive shoes on and they go, and oh, oh, and they're just going around. They're there to liven things up. Maybe they know how freaky it is down there. I feel sorry for some of the fish and other creatures that live down there. So they want to liven things up a little bit. Clownfish, mm -mm. and uh, they get like that. They're not going like that, do they? And these freaky fish come up to them and they go. When they see the clownfish, they go. And they swim away. So they're doing something. They're livening things up there, putting a bit of humour into the bottom of the ocean. Now, what else is down there? Oh, there's lots of sea anemones. Sea anemones are funny things in themselves. A lot of them, a lot of them just sit there all day long, just watching everything go by, just waving. I mean, really, they're like doll bludgers or something. I don't know, they're like, just wave, like this. Uh, 
don't do anything, the laziest things you'd ever come across, just I don't know. And then you've got those um, ones that uh, like to give you the impression that they're spawning. What a load of nonsense. Uh, have you ever seen anything spawning like that? In actual fact, you know, smoking is prohibited in the bottom of the ocean because it's going to go out, isn't it? So it's water everywhere. So, But they've got a cunning way of getting around that thing of there being water everywhere and you can't smoke. Um, and that they do. Inside the anemone, they're like this. You might not realise, but they're like this. They go through 50 packets a day, smoking, and they're just blowing smoke out. And they're telling everyone, hey, I'm spawning. Oh. And uh, really, they're on to it. They're having a smoke. Yeah, and um, you know, the further you go down in the ocean, the more the pressure gets, you know. So you get migraines and headaches and all that, so it's not for the for people who get headaches easy. In fact, what I recommend is you get one of those big metallic outfits, you know? Uh, so you look like a robot, and you go down like that, and your arms are kind of, okay, they're kind of permanently like that, which kind of restricts what you can do down there, doesn't it? Um, you can't play tennis particularly well, because you'll be missing a lot of shots. It's very hard to serve like that as well. Well, you kind of can, if you bounce the ball, maybe. But t table tennis, if you're playing with someone who's not so good, it's a fairly slow game, table tennis is possible like that. Because you're in a more of a restricted area, smaller area, and you can just go like that. And, um, but really, I'm afraid there's not a great deal you can do in a metallic outfit like that when you're just in that position all the time. Uh, like I said, it's also extremely dark down there, so um, you need to like the dark. Uh, I don't know if you do or not. If you're one of those people who likes uh, spending the afternoon sitting in your wardrobe, it could be just the place for you. But if you like bright, sunny spaces, um, if you like running in the desert and um, running in the meadows and the sun and all that, that's not the place for you. No, it's just permanent darkness, and that just makes it all quite boring, really. Um, but, well, you never know. Um, it could be your thing, I don't know. Um, what else? Well, not much else, really. I, I don't think there's much else going on down there. So, there you go. There's uh, this week's absolute load of rubbish. I hope you enjoyed it. And, um, rate my video if you can. Uh, and even better, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.